Hey everybody, Chris here from the Protocase team. We've got a new topic for you today. We've got a new sign, so let's get into it. Today we're going to cover viewing and approving your graphics for your custom designs. So our mission here at Protocase is to help keep you and your projects and critical deadlines on track. And we do this by making your fully finished custom enclosures and parts really quickly with no minimum order. Part of our one-stop shop for custom manufacturing is our graphics, which can be applied by either silkscreen or digital print. Many of you opt to have graphics applied to your sheet metal or CNC machined enclosures. This can be for labeling connectors and other components on your case, as well as with branding your logo and other aesthetic purposes. Before our production team can apply these graphics to your design when it's being manufactured, those graphics need to be reviewed and approved by you, the customer. This is a very similar process to our e-drawings approvals. To ensure that we manufactured exactly what we envision, we have what we call an e-drawing approval process. What that means is that before our team actually builds your design, you must give a final sign-off in order to verify that the design is accurate to what you want made. We've covered an e-drawing approval process in a previous Tech Tip video, so check that out if you want to learn more. The link will be in the description below. So just as with our e-drawings for the CAD designs themselves, your graphics, meaning the placement, size, and more specs for the graphics on your design, they need to be carefully reviewed and approved before your design can be fully finished with your desired graphics. Now, as mentioned in a previous Proto Tech Tip, you can view and approve your e-drawings in my account. Same goes for graphics approvals. These need to be approved in my account. Now, why is this? Well, simply because it's the most efficient way. When you view your graphics and click Approve, it automatically triggers our graphics team to complete the final prep of your graphics. Once the graphics processing task is complete, our system advises our production stations that your parts are ready to have graphics applied. Now, let me walk you through the graphics approval process. I have a panel that I've submitted to be manufactured, and it includes our logo, which can be digitally printed. When a member of the Protocase's graphics team has processed the graphics for my panel, I'm going to get an email saying that my graphics are ready to be reviewed. The email link has a link to the graphics approval section of my account. Now when I click on this link, I'm going to be taken to my account, which is going to prompt me to log in. If this is your first time using my account, you'll need to register, which only takes a minute. Okay, so now that I'm logged into my account, you can click on the tab labeled Active Orders and use the filtering options to find the Protocase job that you need to review. In the In Production Status section, you will see a link called Graphics for Approval. I'm going to click on that link, which will then open the graphics as a PDF. Now this is the time to carefully review all aspects of your graphics, including the color, alignment, orientation, and spelling of any text. If you have any revisions or need to submit a new file, you need to select Request Revision and describe the changes that you're required. You can also upload a new file if that's necessary. If you do request revisions, a member of our graphics team will review the request and make the required changes and then post your new graphics for approval in my account. Same as with the first round, you will be notified via email when your graphics are ready for approval again. If you do approve the drawing and click confirm, that will signal to our graphics team and our internal systems that your parts are ready for either silk screening or digital print, whichever process you chose when submitting your order. Now, you shouldn't directly email the graphics team member to say that you approve your graphics rather than approving it via my account. While your email will be viewed and actioned by our graphics team, it's not nearly as efficient and as fast as approving directly in my account, which, remember, will automatically signal to our graphics team that your order can be processed, which will then advise our production stations that your parts are ready to have graphics applied. One thing to note, there are certain types of orders that typically do not require graphics approvals. For instance, if you design an order using Protocase Designer and there are either no graphic design warnings or notes from you when you submit your design, your order will proceed directly to manufacturing without graphics approvals. Another example, when you reorder a previous design with no design changes and the previous order isn't more than two years old, your designs will typically not need graphics approval before it proceeds to manufacturing. Our goal is to manufacture and fully finish your parts as quickly as possible so that you can meet your project deadlines and keep your work on track. By following these graphics approval processes in my account, you are helping us to keep our processes as efficient as possible, as well as minimize the downtime and human error. If you've run into any issues registering for my account or have any questions about using the portal, our team is here to help. Contact your Protocase account manager directly or email info at protocase.com. Thanks for watching this week's Prototech Tip video, and we'll be back next week with another one.